Hello friends, today I'm going to address probably the most frequently asked question that I get is what do you eat? Because I've been diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, I've been in remission for five years and I don't use any medication and the main factor um, of my remission is the food that I eat. So I'm gonna start this series, right? What do I eat? And I'm gonna give you a few examples every video. Let's start with example number one. Um, so I just want to explain something first is that I only have two meals a day, okay? And I do that because of intermittent fasting, because I wanna give my, my system some rest. Um, not gonna get into details right now, but just so you understand, I only have two meals a day, okay? And, uh, but I'm gonna give you a little extra here on this video. And so let's start. My first meal here, as you can see, there is a plate on the left with fruits, some peanut butter, and a plate on the right with some pancakes. Now, I always try to eat the fruits or the salad before the other part of the meal, right? Because raw food is very important and also because that way I, I guarantee that I, I, I make sure that I eat my raw food. So that, that, that's out of the way and, then, and I also like it. It's not that's just out of the way. I, I like it too. But okay, so you can see here there, there's two oranges, two small oranges that I, that I had. That, that, that's a, an example of a first meal of the day and an apple. The oranges are not organic, okay? They don't really have to be. The apple is organic because it's one, it's, it's at the top in terms of having uh, pesticides and so on. So I always buy apples organic. And also the peanut butter here, peanut butter, there's one ingredient, it's a chunky peanut butter, 100% peanuts, okay? and it's not organic not sure if it has glyphosate or not i don't know it's hard to know everything what what has glyphosate what doesn't or roundup um, and on the right here there's a plate with chickpea pancakes this is maybe my main bread substitute it's made with it's very simple to make you know you you prepare you just mix chickpea flour water and salt you can make it just like that mix it up um, it's gonna be very soft it's not gonna be like uh, like bread dough or anything when, when you're making bread no uh, it's a lot softer it's a, yeah I can't show the consistency right now but and then you you, you put that on a non-stick frying pan and that's it and then you're gonna have your, your pancakes very simple but they're tasty I like them and inside you have hummus, uh, homemade hummus too. It's uh, tahini and chickpeas and water, lemon, salt, some olive oil maybe. My wife cooks, okay? I don't, I, I, I'm not good in the kitchen, so my, my wife is, so she, she makes that. And there's some avocado in here too. So that was my meal. It doesn't mean I only had those two pancakes, okay? Because I, I eat as much as I as I want. Uh, I try not to overeat because that's not good for, for digestion, especially for people with compromised digestion, okay? So that's one example of one meal. Let's go to the next one. So a second meal of the day for me would be um, a salad. I would start with a salad. Um, this is mixed greens and it's organic, okay? The carrot is organic too because if not organic, it may contain glyphosate carrots, okay? And just the greens, if not organic, they can have a lot of pesticides too. Um, the olives are not organic. I usually change the water twice so it, it dilutes, you know, the salt and the other preservatives. And after the salad, I had some beans, some black-eyed peas with corn and uh, peas, green peas. And the corn is organic, okay, because if it's not, it's very likely to have glyphosate or be um, 
genetically modified and the peas are organic too because they may have glyphosate if they're not organic carrots are organic um, the black-eyed peas are not organic I don't usually uh, buy legumes uh, organic I don't like I the other grains like rice quinoa oats and things of that kind I, I do buy organic because I know they they will most likely contain glyphosate but uh, legumes no um, I'm not sure if they have it or not it's hard to know exactly what does and what doesn't but yeah it's what I did on this plate and and potatoes there's potatoes here just just baked potatoes very simple homemade uh, very little oil I think that there's only two spoons of teaspoons of olive oil for a whole tray of potatoes so um, it's a small tray not medium tray yeah and that's it and uh, I'll show you one variation right that I because the other day instead of having it the beans with potatoes I had it with some zucchini some grilled zucchini lemon on top very good so that's an example of what I eat in a day very simple I like having two meals saves me time you know it's one less meal in a day um, now I'm gonna give you uh, one extra like there's this granola here that I want to show you that I eat sometimes uh, it's not the ideal ideal food especially if you're in that sensitive stage but it is organic okay ancient grains granola and the ingredients are you have whole grain rolled oats and it's organic so no glyphosate there no roundup uh, cane sugar again if cane sugar is not organic it will most likely have glyphosate as well soy the same thing but it's all organic here uh, kamut wheat uh, they're spelt almonds almonds is the same thing if it's not organic there is a chance that it has it will have glyphosate uh, inulin rice starch rolled quinoa like rice quinoa amaranth there's a, a high chance of those things having glyphosate if not organic but this granola is organic sea salt molasses cinnamon cinnamon and so on so i have that sometimes now the the milk that i used uh, is this is just an example right i, I didn't eat three times that day but it's just an example to give you guys an option um, and that would be almond milk it's non-gmo okay and if we read the ingredients here you see there's pretty much almond water cane sugar sea salt some gums and lecithins and uh, so the reason why I said this is not good is I mean I don't wanna say the milk it's actually pretty good but for people in like with an autoimmune disease you know I wouldn't recommend it I, w I would recommend an organic milk because if almonds are not organic as I said before they they can have uh, some glyphosate and cane sugar the same thing okay so yeah I didn't really pay attention when I bought it uh, but and also I've been in remission for five years so it doesn't hurt me to have those things once in a while but if I were in the initial stages that milk would have to be organic for me okay so yeah there you go guys some examples this was the first video of a series I want to give you uh, guys a lot more examples and if this video has any value to you you can like subscribe if you can if you think it can help somebody suffering from autoimmune diseases or of some kind you know inflammation allergies um, you, you can share it and I'll see you in the next video cooks okay my wife cooks okay I'm, I, I, I'm not good in the kitchen so my, my